Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallo. Sorry, but I'm not looking to hire any more crew right now. You don't know what freedom really means until you've lived on the river. The North Wind is my mistress, and I'm her master. I don't tolerate any disloyalty. You looking for work? Got a sailor who thought running a gang of thieves would be more money than hauling my cargo. You make an example of that gang. I'll give you a year's worth of pay. The heart's the spirit. Right. See you around. Been on the river since I could walk. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Never much cared for Windhelm. The place is depressing. I'm a lot happier out here on the deck than I am wandering around in that room of the city. I heard those Forsworn out west live in caves. Can't be any worse than trying to live in Windhelm. Can't wait until we raise anchor. Anytime the boat's not moving, I'll start to get impatient. Need something? Don't think I could do it? Wasn't our last catch a cave bear? Yeah, why? Take down that one with your bare hands, too? Troll's blood was he a tough one? Sure. <laughs> but I've got the key to the saber cage. Look. What's that supposed to prove? Get back on patrol. What was that?
Hear the news? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor, to the northwest. Sorry, but they're not looking to hire any more crew right now. Right. See you round. You don't know what freedom really means until you've lived on the river. Fine work. Here's your pay. Don't spend it all on me. All right. Till next time. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Been on the river since I could walk. Wouldn't trade it for the world. By the hist, if I don't get something soon, I don't know how I'll get through the week. No, I'm not. I feel like my scales are clawing into me. Maybe you could help an old Argonian out? I heard some of the sailors talking about how they stashed a bottle of double distilled skooma in the Nissus Corner Club. I just need a taste. Thank you. I'll be waiting for that bottle. I would not complain if you return with some skooma. It's good to spend some time on solid land. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. I'll take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. The best way for us to win the Nord's respect is through hard work.
Another day, another septum. Thank you so much. Here, let me show you a thing or two about not attracting attention to yourself. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. We are used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Torbjorn Shatter Shield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper Nord worker. My people are not slaves. You can try, but we've gotten nowhere talking to him ourselves. I came here as a hatchling. The only thing colder than Skyrim is the Nords themselves, but we stick together. We work where we can get work. The Nords don't like unloading their ships, so we do it instead. Sometimes cargo goes missing. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. Windhelm has been hard on my people. But our fortunes will turn, and we have shelter and food. We have not fared well outside our native Black Marsh, but we're determined to make the best of things. I began praying to Xenathar, the god of wealth, to bring us some fortune, but thieves made off with my sacred amulet almost as soon as I bought it. Shavi would be in your debt, kind one. I enjoyed our talk. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Until next time. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits, too. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Well, my friend, if you think those boots need more coin, I'll make it happen. But I'm doing this for you, not them. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. Good to see you again, friend. The Nords don't appreciate us, but so what? I don't appreciate them right back. Look, we don't have much love for your kind down here. Probably best if you just left. The docks can be a dangerous place. Don't expect me to save you if you fall in. You have questions? Yes? I wish the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. You talked Torbjorn down? I'm impressed. Here I was saving this for a rainy day. Maybe now I can afford a few more for my people. Take it. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft.
Is this a surprise? Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Bless you, friend. You've renewed my hope. Before I came into Xenophar's calling, I confess I was a thief. But I learned a few things in my time that might help you survive. Let me show you. I enjoyed our talk.
You're a stranger here too, huh? If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods from Morrowind in one of the stands. I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned then taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Let me see that. Yes, yes, this is it. I don't know how you found this stranger. You've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strongbox under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it.
Want to talk? Go ahead. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Good to see you again, friend. Need something? Things are looking up around here, lad. Good to see you, lad. How are things? Now go and make us some coin, lad. What's on your mind? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Because it was dull, every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement, something dangerous. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild. Making us look good, too. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong, the first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on, just like I did. Always a pleasure. Hey, how's it going? Need pickpocket training? It was on a job a few years back. 
It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot and made our way out. Well, it was, up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Vex just tells me to run, so I did. Half of them went after me, the other half went after her. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm, and all the way back to Riften. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in, drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me, and laughed. Well, I'd forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. Vex rode hers back, and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. Tonelia. She's the guild's fence. Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try and rip her off, and you'll have the whole guild to answer to. Need any more pickpocket training? You just let me know. What's on your mind? Things are looking up around here, lad. Yes? I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? Some other time, perhaps. My brother in crime. What do you need? Be seeing you. You want to talk to me? Okay. Go and pick some fights. 